Hey everyone, so today we're going to cover solving a system, this time with um, a circle and a linear equation. And we're not going to start off the same way we did with three linear equations, but uh, we are going to be um, using the idea of substitution later. Okay, so here we have two of these, and we're trying to solve this algebraically too. So what's going to happen is that we're going to first focus on this linear equation and make sure it's in the y equals mx plus b form. And then we're going to substitute that into here. Um, if you wanted to substitute for x instead of y, you can. Um, just make sure that however you manipulate your equation, it just makes it easier for you to progress through the problem. So for me, I'm going to substitute the y. Uh, so I see that they all have coefficients or numbers that are divisible by 2. So I'm going to do that first. Um, then I get x plus y equals 5, and then because I wanted y equals mx plus b form, I'm going to subtract x on both sides, and then I end up with y equals negative x plus 5. Okay, great. So now this, this y equals um, equation is going to be substituted right here, right where that y is. So then this becomes, this circle equation here, becomes the following. It's going to stay x minus 3 squared, but then it's going to change into, instead of y plus 2, it will be negative x plus 5 plus 2 squared equals 16. And if I were to combine this, this becomes negative x plus 7 squared. Alright, so now let's start solving for x. So we're going to be expanding this so x minus 3, x minus 3, plus, and it's going to be negative x plus 7, negative x plus 7, equals 16. We're going to FOIL, so this times this, this times this. So that's going to give us x squared minus 3x minus 3x plus 9. And then this times this, this times this, this times this, plus x squared minus 7x minus 7x plus 49 equals 16. And then we're going to start combining like terms. So the x squareds combine. That's going to give us uh, 2x squared. I have negative 3x, negative 3x. That's negative 6x. I have negative 7x, negative 7x. That's negative 14x. So it's going to be negative 20x. Yes, negative 20x. And then I have 9 plus 49. That's going to be plus uh, 50, 58 equals 16. Now, because this, uh, this is a quadratic equation, right? My degree is 2. I'm going to have to end up factoring anyway. And because I need to factor, I need to set this equation equal to 0. So I actually need to minus 16 on both sides. So that's going to give me... Um, 2, 4, plus x, minus, and 2x squared. Okay, that's going to give me 2x squared minus 20x equals 42, I mean plus 42 equals 0. Okay, um, something that you want to keep in mind, if you see that your coefficients are even, you want to try and simplify them because that will allow you to work with simpler numbers. So I see that they're all divisible by 2, so I'm going to do just that, divide everything by 2. And then I end up with move this up a bit. Then I end up with x squared minus 10x plus 21 equals 0. And now I need to factor. I know that when I factor, this is going to end up looking like this. But let's set up um, my little factoring um, uh, sentence structure so I can organize my information. Okay, so I'm looking for two numbers that when added gives me that b term, which is negative 10. But those same two numbers, when multiplied, gives me um, the a times c value, which is the 1 times 21, which is just 21. Right? So a times c is just 1 times 21, which is 21. OK, so I start looking at the factors. So there's 3 and 7, 21 and 1. Um, I believe that's it. So uh, which two numbers, uh, when multiplied, gives me a positive 21, but a negative 10? 
but add to a negative 10. So because the product is positive, I know my signs are going to be the same. But because the sum is negative, I know my signs all have to be negative. Um, and the only ones that can combine to give me a negative 10 is going to be right here. So negative 3, negative 7, negative 3, negative 7. All right, great. Um, and you can do a quick check on whether this works or not, and it does. So now when we're figuring this out, um, because our A value was 1, we don't need to worry about any number being in front of the x variables here. So we can just jump straight to writing x minus 3, x minus 7. Um, and that's good to go. Uh, some of you guys um, would like to, would normally use the box method after this. Um, and if you want to refresh around how the box method works, you can go to my videos um, based on that for factoring. But if you do want to set up the box method, then it will just look like this. Um, you would put x squared here. You put negative 3x here, negative 7x here, 21 here, and then you would factor. Uh, what do these have in common? Just an x. This would be an x here, minus 3 here. This would be a minus 7 here. And then you end up with the same factors. Okay, so then we're trying to solve for the x value. So I'm going to do a little t-chart. x minus 3 equals 0. x minus 7 equals 0. x equals 3. And then x equals 7. All right, cool. So then now you want to, once you solve your x value, you want to solve for their y values. Um, because when we solve our system, we, uh, I, it depends on the problem. They can either ask just for the x values or they actually want the coordinate points. I'm going to go to the next step and solve for the coordinate points. I'm going to take these x values and plug them into our simplified um, linear equation. And then we should be good to go. So then when x equals 3, I have y equals negative 3, right, plus 5. That's y equals, um, it's going to be 2. So then my corner point will be 3 comma 2. And then for this one, when x equals 7, I have y equals negative 7 plus 5. y equals negative 2. So then my coordinate is 7 comma negative 2. And then that's pretty much it. Um, you can uh, plug these coordinates into the equation to check to see if they work, um, and if they do, then this is a solution to both of the equations. If not, then this is not a solution to both the equations, but um, you can figure that out just by checking. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye!